a year or so ago we were really excited because we'd managed to get funding to do up this pond which was a much deserted unloved pond and now we've got fabulous boardwalk there were, was more light coming back into the pond it looked amazing and then disaster struck and we found ourselves with this invasive fern that we'd never even heard of before called Azolla. But luckily we were able to call Ebsford. Azolla was brought to the UK by the Victorians as an ornamental curiosity where it's escaped and naturalised within our native ecosystems. Azolla forms a dense mat on water bodies within which it's established. This shades out all of our native flora and fauna from the pond, depleting it from oxygen and light. When designing a solution for this pond, it was really important to look for something that would not damage the ecosystem or the works that have been done to create the new banks at the pond. Ebsford are working with KB Bioscience to release a weevil population. A seed population is placed onto the mat of weed where they reproduce and eat the weed. It was really important for us to get on top of this problem before it got out of hand. In the wider park, there's a much more extensive lake system and it was very important to prevent the azolla from transference into that system. The plant spreads very easily on Wellington boots through wildflower and dogs. And this being a public open space, that method of spread was extremely likely. So we've had great fun with our volunteers coming down um, to release some of these tiny weevils. We've had kids, we've had long-standing volunteers and already within two weeks we're starting to see a difference. Everyone's really invested in this pond. We can't wait for it to be back and get pond dipping basically. Mm -hmm.